So my name's Sam. I'm Elizabeth. My name's Hale. My name is Sylvia. And those guys are the Opus 76 Sunrise Quartet. Four kids from the Kansas City area who won a competition to receive free quartet training from myself and my other colleagues at Kansas City's Opus 76 Quartet. Now at the Opus 76 Quartet, we believe in classical music. We think it makes people better listeners and more empathetic with each other. And we're working from our base here at the Midwest Trust Center to change the culture around classical music in Kansas City. We think that classical music matters. It offers something for everyone at all ages and stages, regardless of wherever you're from. But don't just take my word for it. Let's hear what the kids themselves have to say. Uh, I play the violin and I started playing when I was about three years old. So this is my uh, 13th year. I've been playing the violin since I was seven. Growing up, uh, I was immersed in classical music between my parents, my dad plays the cello, and really exposed me to a lot of varieties of classical music between different composers. And so I, f I quickly fell in love with the violin and after a year of begging, they bought me a little tiny quarter size and I started lessons. I play viola. I've been playing viola for four years, but before that I played violin for nine. I play the cello. I just turned 15 and I began playing at the age of 12. There's such a variety of classical music that there's something for everyone. Depending on your mood, circumstance, personality, there's always something you can enjoy. Each piece is different and there are a variety of composers that span different eras, so it, it's incredibly diverse. One thing I like about it is um, the uniqueness of it, and I think it's kind of beautiful that we can be uh, connected to this music that belonged to a culture from hundreds of years ago. I love classical music for more reasons than I can count, but most impressive to me is its ability to create unique stories from just a handful of notes. The great classical works are able to express the widely complex range of human emotion just through the notes themselves, and I find it to be a really beautiful thing. I love classical music because it allows you to express so many different emotions. It's very unique because everyone has their own interpretation of the music. I love playing the cello because it gives me a way to communicate thoughts without actual words. Probably one of my favorite composers is Bach. Um, I've been working on um, a Bach solo partita past couple months and I've really enjoyed it, especially the Chacon. My favorite composer is Mozart and that's because I have a wide range of emotions that may show up at any time, probably because I'm a teenager. And Mozart, when I'm not feeling as well, uh, Mozart helps cheer me up with most of his light and bright songs. But then if I'm ecstatic over something and I need a good dose of reality, there are pieces like Mozart's Requiem that really do the job. I would say my favorite composer would have to be Schubert. I find the melodies he wrote, particularly in his chamber music, to be quite beautiful to both play and listen to. Mahler is my favorite composer because his works really engage me. I think that he did a really great job with blending the moods into his music. Now, we've been mentoring and coaching these fine young musicians since November, and we're excited for them to make their debut alongside us in March for our Eat, Drink and Play digital concert series brought to you by the Midwest Trust Center. These guys love playing and they've worked really, really hard and they sound fantastic. You should really keep an ear out for them. They're gonna be playing Dvorak's American Quartet and ticket information can be found at our website, www.opus76.org. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you wanna keep in touch with us on your terms, be sure to subscribe to our email newsletter at www.opus76.org forward slash newsletter.